Have you ever been in a position where, whether if it's true or not, you just feel like everything is going horribly wrong? And even though you are technically in a much better position, your experience, your experience, your life, your financial situation, whatever it is, maybe you got a new job, maybe you got some extra free time, you're happier, you're more carefree, you have the opportunity to do whatever it is you want, and yet while you're technically in a much better position, everything feels like God is just telling you to stop. You're just not meant to be happy. Your entire life, you've been nothing but disappointed. Why flip things around? now. It's a very dramatic way to basically say I went from a console player to PC player and now it fucking sucks. Ah. So if you have been keeping track with recent PC releases or not, let me bring you up to speed. Basically, this video has been kicked off because Jedi Survivor, a game that was actually meant to release, I think, next month, was pushed forward. It released as of this recording yesterday, but whenever you see this, it probably a few days later. It released in a very horrible state, even for high-end hardware. You know, I'm running a 3080 with a Ryzen 9 5900X, 32 gigs of RAM, and I can't even break 40 FPS with medium settings. And if you just take a look at the reviews on Steam, most people are having a very similar experience. The game just flat out was not ready to be released. It's kind of funny because two other games immediately come to mind for what you should do and also the fact that this is becoming a very horrible trend. For instance, The Last of Us Part 1 recently released on PC. The development team behind porting that game is still trying to play catch up, just trying to get that game to be in a playable state. That game has been released for, what, almost a full month at this point and it's still not to the point where most people can even play at a consistent frame rate. They are still playing catch up. So while The Last of Us Part 1 on PC, and now we have Jedi Survivor basically being in the same boat, two major games that should not have been released versus a game that just recently released, I think it was actually last week, Dead Island 2. Incredibly shocked that that game released in the state that it was released in. We're talking about a game that was delayed for eight years, switched multiple development teams at multiple points. Everyone thought the game was completely scrapped and Deep Silver just completely gave up on it. We got an official release date one final time then one more delay just because you know why not deep silver was being consistent why ruin that streak now they had it going eight years strong and then when it finally did release last week across all platforms not only is it a consistent playable experience no issues no crashes no bugs no problems at least at least from what i was experiencing and i played it on two different platforms it was a full-blown game a full-blown experience nothing was compromise it. During that entire time playing that game, there was never a point where I was like, damn, I waited eight years for this? Nah, I enjoyed every single second of it. And I think that is a prime example of if it takes almost a decade, just keep the game in the vault and continue to develop it and polish it so that way people don't have these shitty experiences. Jedi Survivor is so bad that people are actually recommending you get it on console. Even then, it's not a consistent experience, but it's better than what you're going to get on PC. And hearing people say that immediately reminds me of how the Grand Theft Auto trilogy released. I remember people saying the same thing. You're going to get a better experience on console than you have, than what you're going to be getting on PC. Even then, console experience is not anywhere where it should be. I mean, there's really no reason for games to be releasing in the state now. Yes, day one patches are a normal thing. However, day one patches should not excuse anything being released in this state. Day one patches should not be the same size as games. And I'm not saying Survivor had the same thing because honestly, the day one patch didn't fix anything. I'm... I am still having a lot of frame rate drops and issues and Respawn came out and they did address all of the feedback concerning the horrible frame rates. But even then, the goal should be to have games be releasing in as most of a polished state as they possibly can. Day one patches are just a symptom of the gaming industry now. I don't think that's ever going to disappear. However, that should not be the fix all to have a game reach its deadline. You know, I think Suicide Squad, for instance, I, I'm not even paying that close attention to that game, was delayed. It was supposed to come out this year. I think it was even supposed to come out last year. They delayed it again because they're trying to ensure that the game is in a playable quality state. Something that a lot of these companies are starting to lose is that whenever you release any type of these products, whenever you're releasing any type of product, you have your name, your brand, your logo stamped on it. And if it's going to continuously release in the shitty state, then you're going to continue to get a reputation similar to that of EA. I think EA was getting a little bit in people's good graces because of the Dead Space remake and then they come out and release uh, Survivor in this fantastic state. So way to be consistent with their shitty reputation. But this does bring up a good discussion, not so much an argument, a discussion. It seems like now most people 
And really, it may not even be most people, it could just be the very loud minority. They want the games to be released on the exact release date, regardless of the state. And then you're going to have publishers that are in the same boat. You know, they want to get their money back because of all the money that they've not only invested into this video game, but they want to get profit back. And they want to see that profit as quickly as possible. So you do have this connection of people that want to see the game release as quickly as possible. Investors and publishers wanting to see that profit return as quickly as possible. And then because of that, we're going to start seeing these games continuously released in the same exact state. And it's kind of unfortunate because I'm not the only one that's criticizing the state this game's releasing in. I'm sure a lot of people are. Yet because of that very vocal minority that just want to see the game release ASAP, it creates this notion that a lot of people, most people nowadays are ungrateful, they're harsh, they're unrelenting, they just want to see something ASAP, and then if it's not delivered in the state that they want it to be, then you're even more ungrateful and you're whining even more now. It just kind of sucks because it seems like no matter which side of the argument you're on, you'll never win because there's always that vocal minority. And you're probably going to see people argue amongst each other when in reality, yes, it is our fault for pre-ordering a game and having so much trust in something that we haven't even gotten our hands on or seen that much gameplay on. Or in this case, seeing what playable state it's even in. But we also have demonstrations like I was saying, Dead Island 2 of companies actually holding games for as long as possible to ensure that it's playable and it's the best possible version of whatever it is the development team and hopefully the publisher's vision of that game can achieve anyways i just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about jedi survivor so far i am enjoying it it's just unfortunate that it actually is giving me a fucking headache because of how stuttery it is right now hopefully they fix it sooner rather than later and we don't see the same thing as we're seeing with the last of us part one remake where a, a month later they're still trying to play catch up ensuring most people can even enjoy the game as it is but ultimately it's just kind of sad i'm not even that huge of a star wars fan i wasn't that big of a fan of fallen order it was a great game don't get me wrong by not a big fan i mean i never finished it i got sidetracked with there's other stuff i started replaying it leading up to this game's release and then with it releasing in the state it's just kind of a punch in the balls you know what i mean you just can't win and it sucks because you can just see how talented respawn really is at character development and crafting these star wars universes and it's being negatively impacted because of the experience that so many people are having right now i want to hear from you have you bought survivor if so what has your experience been like what platform are you playing it on are you going to just wait for another update are you going to ask for a refund are you going to hang in there and see what's going on i'm curious i want to hear from you for me personally i was going to request a refund but then i i thought you know i'm going to ultimately play the game either way so there's no point in asking for a refund i'm just ultimately going to wait it out yeah like always guys my name is cynic thank you so much for watching i would love to hear your two cents on this topic games releasing in this type of state what are your thoughts i'll be talking with you down in the comment section but until next time see you all in the next video